everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Meg and if you are new here, welcome. Today I am making over a very long, heavy, solid wood dresser and there are parts on this dresser that I did not realize that weren't solid wood and I used a product to remove the stain that I never ever thought that to use. I would never even think to use this product and I don't think a lot of people would. But someone showed me on Instagram this special spray that I am gonna show you in this video how to use it and what I did exactly. So enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit those notifications so that you get notified when I post a video, which is usually Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern, but just in case, it will notify you and let you know. So enjoy this video. So I found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace and absolutely loved it as soon as I saw it. It is very long and heavy. I got Mr. Lovely to help me get it out of the van or got it out of the truck. It is very long. Like I said, it's heavy. The legs were gorgeous. I loved the handles on this piece. It's just, it was, it's so beautiful. And the details on it really struck me. I love it. So let's get started on this makeover. So first of all, I took off the hardware. I wasn't sure if I was keeping them or not. I, I knew I was, but I put them aside because I wasn't sure by the end of the piece and the reveal how, it, how they would look. So I did keep them, put them aside, and I'll figure that out at the very end. I would like to keep them though. I then started with a top, which I usually do when I'm sanding it down to raw wood. And I learned recently from Angie at Transcend Gallery Furniture page to go really slow so that you don't get those squiggly lines or squiggly rings in the wood, which I've had before. Now I did speed up this sanding just so that you weren't watching the whole thing because it does take a long time. But the trick is, is to go slow and less pressure on the sander and it worked like a charm. Look at that wood grain. It turned out so beautiful and it really, the slower, when I went slow, I just, I noticed a big difference. So I'm glad that I learned that part. My vision for this piece was to sand down halfway and that's exactly what I was doing. Now it is solid wood and the raw wood was coming through in places like here on this panel. But then when I went to go and sand the appliques, the detail parts, it didn't come out raw wood. It came out a weird color and wasn't even sanding properly. So I started to think, are these details even wood? And me, I got curious. And so I carried on sanding. So I carried on sanding and sanded around the edges inside the doorways and also the trim as far as I could go and I couldn't get into all of the details. So here it is where I got curious. I wanted to see what these panels were and I wondered if I could take off the appliques. But it turns out that these appliques are actually an entire panel. And I used my Zorcorp utility knife, which has a putty knife on the end, and took them off. Look at that beautiful wood underneath. Oh my goodness, I was just so happy. And then I took off the drawers. I thought that I could take off just those detail parts, but again, the entire panel came off. I usually have take, when I've taken appliques off, they come off in pieces. Sometimes they're wood and sometimes they're not. But I've never had entire panels come off like this, so I was a little surprised but very glad that I took them off because again, look what's underneath, that beautiful wood grain. Now the pink stuff that you see is actually glue, which I will definitely sand off. Here's a closer look of how I took off the panel. I could see that there was a gap in between the drawer wood and that panel, and I just knew that it was gonna come off. So I, again, pried the, the panel off, and look what they were plastic, thick plastic panels. I was in complete shock. I couldn't believe it. I have never had panels look like, like actually be plastic. I thought they were solid wood. So I started to sand off the glue, 
with the drawer in, but it was proving to be a little bit difficult. So I took the drawer out and put it on top of the dresser and still that just was not working for me. So I should have done this in the first place, but I put it on the ground and stabled it with my feet and just started sanding away. And I could see that beautiful wood grain. Now, like I said before, once I had sanded down halfway, I noticed that there was still some stain left that I could not get off. So I used my Dremel to go around the trim area with it, but there was still a lot of stain left to do. So I used my sander to sand down the middle drawer because inside the two cupboards in the middle were three drawers. And because the top half was raw wood, I made the top drawer raw wood. After that, I vacuumed everything up inside, outside, and all along the runners so that they run properly, and all the drawers. Once I had done that, I put half plastic all the way around the top so that I don't get paint on them. I also cleaned the piece and scuff sanded the bottom and then primed with the Kills Restoration Primer. Now as you can see, I ended up pulling off the plastic because I didn't want a straight line between the wood and the paint. I wanted it to be sort of a dusty look in the middle and sort of frosty looking. So I did the inside of the drawers using my Wagner sprayer all the way half up. Here's just a close up of me spraying the primer. I did about two coats of the restoration, Kills Restoration Primer, and then I had to go around the back to get the bottom of the back legs. Once I had primed the two coats of primer, I started painting it with Country Chic Paint in Crinoline, which is a really soft off white color. Okay, so I tried everything and here is the product that I use to get off the rest of the stain. Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Can you believe it? I could not believe it. I was skeptical at first and didn't think it would work, so I sprayed it onto the remaining stain spots and then I got a scrubby brush with some dish soap and water on it and started scrubbing away and I couldn't believe that it was actually coming off. I just, I couldn't believe it. Now a brush, a nail brush or a toothbrush would work better than the scrubby brush that I had, but this is how it turned out. And the darker spots are where it's just drying because I did wipe it down with water to take off the soap. But look at that. Oh my goodness. What a difference. Such a huge difference. I was really happy. So if you ever need to get remaining stain off of detail spots like that, use easy off now you may need to use a couple of coats which is fine i had to do that as well and it will definitely come off okay so now it's time that i did the paint wash on the top and halfway down so i did used country chic paint soiree sprayed it with water and then wiped off the excess with a rag or lint free cloth i sprayed the wood first with water then the paint and then sprayed again and then wiped it off again. So you can see there on the wood what it looks like. And I did that all the way half down. Then I remembered that the panels had little nails in them and left these little holes on the top drawers. So I used my DAP wood filler, which mimics wood, and filled those in just very slightly so that you wouldn't see them, and then went over it with some paint. While that was drying, I decided to put this Mendy stencil on it. It's a stick and style stencil. I'll put the name and brand name on in my description and the link. So I've been wanting to use this stencil for so long since it came out and I finally got it and got to use it. So I stuck it where I wanted it on the drawer side 
making sure that it's completely flat. And then I took my Redesign with Prima roller. You can get these rollers anywhere, even the dollar store. And I dipped it in some paint and then rolled the roller of paint onto the stencil. Super easy and fun and it looks so pretty. You don't even have to seal the paint or the design on the drawer sides. I didn't, so I don't see why it would be a, an issue. But this is what it looks like. How pretty is that? I love it. And I did this with all nine drawers on both sides. So this is what it looks like. And I ended up sealing it with Country Chic Paint Clear Coat, which is usually my go-to top coat. And I am just spraying the entire piece and the legs, making sure that every part of this piece was top coated. I did about three coats of clear coat. I also did the top, which I usually brush the top coat on wood tops, but I thought that I would try it out spraying it. And I really liked it. It gave a bit of a sheen to the top, which you can see there. And then I went, once it was completely dry, I went over the entire piece with my sanding uh, block. And that is about 2000 grit sand sanding. I also did that in between the primer coats and the paint coats. Then it was time to put the hardware on and I'm just tightening up the screws. I ended up keeping the original hardware because it really did look so good and it matched the piece. It was perfect. So here is what it looks like. I am beyond happy. I just love how it turned out. The Country Chic Pink Crinoline, which is a very soft off-white color, is what I used to paint over the primer and it just really suited it and I love the raw wood on top. Very beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed that and who would have thought easy off oven cleaner? Oh my goodness. And don't forget to wear gloves. I did wear gloves in part of it. And then when I was scrubbing, I forgot to put the gloves back on. But um, I also added dish soap and water, like I said in the video, and <laughs> it worked. I couldn't believe it worked. Um, I'm actually gonna be trying it on other pieces and I'm gonna see how it turns out again. So thank you again for watching and take care. Have a great day and I'll see you next Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to subscribe.